Hey, sneaking us back tonight. Tonight we've got Simplicity Linux Desktop 12.10 Alpha. Yeah, it's an alpha. So I don't expect everything to work, but so far it has for me, okay? Now, based on Papi Linux, Strict Saluki, right? This is the, they're using their base nowadays. Comes with XFCE as your interface. I'll just go up here and show you. You do have a top bar at the top with application menu. Oh, we file system and everything else in there. That's okay. Desktop workspaces and stuff like that. Also, you have your time and date. Open up. Open up? No, it doesn't open up. But yeah, I think that would open up. You can change that. I've got it on Turbo Performance. That's my date. That's Frisbee for your wireless networking or your Ethernet connection. And that's your volume icon. Okay. Now, this download comes in around about 600 odd meg. It's a really, really big one. But you do get a lot of stuff in it. So it's like a standard distribution, like Pups Stroke Saluki based. So you get Cairo Doc for a start with all the extras. Yeah, with all the extras and with themes and everything. He's put quite a lot of desktop backgrounds in here as well as standard. So it's all standard, hunkily dory and stuff like that. So what should we get on with and do? Okay. For a start, I've added some extras on the old uh, con uh, Conky. What am I talking about? On oh, the old Doc Bar, down or the old Cairo Doc. I've added the shutdown menu, okay. I've added the LX Task Manager. I'll open up for you and have a quick look. As you can see, it doesn't use too much memory. CPU is average. This is not really for really old machines, okay. It's for quite a modern machine, no more than six years old, I would say personally, in my personal opinion, because I'm personal like that. But yeah, that's okay. I've also put in my Cairo Doc TrueCrypt, which is in the menu, but it's easier if they're on the bar if you want to use them a lot. So I don't know if any of you used TrueCrypt before, but yeah, it just encrypts everything you want it to. Lovely. And you should do your files anyway, if they're sensitive or not really, especially if you're sending them to somebody. Okay. Pigeon on the bottom here as well for my messaging. Clementine. Nah, it's for your music here. I'll open it up for you. Now I've ripped some tracks to the old disk key here, just to show you. I'll just bring one over, I'll just bring that over as well. No, it was already there. If I click on play, you won't be able to hear it because I'll be breaking a law by playing you some music, wouldn't I? But yeah, there it is. Play is nice and hunkily dory. I'll turn the volume down a bit for me. I just want to turn it down because that's the sort of guy I am. Now remember with Clementine, you do get lots of extras. So if I go to tools, you do get an equalizer. As you can see, I've got it enabled here anyway, so that's hungry dory. So, so I want to know the lyrics, my uh, song I'm actually listening to. So we go to song info, there we go. Wait for it to load, because it's fuck the intranet. And then we get our lyrics from Mr. Dizzy and Mr. Rascal. Yeah, Dizzy Rascal, two guys in one, really. And you get artist info, gives you everything you want to do. A sunder is supplied as your nice little ripper. I prefer using it personally, you may not, but I do. So, that's Clementine out of the way. So, real quick, Clementine. Bye, Clementine. Bye, nice knowing you. Okay, Skype is standard, and you'll just, you get something called development music. Now, when I click it, basically it was a link to a web page for Sky FM Radio, okay? So that's on Dance Hits channel at the moment. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, it was a nice little addition, but yeah, not my cup of tea. But other of you, you may like it, and you may not like it, it is entirely up to you. Bye bye. You get the full LibreOffice suite. This is what makes it quite large. Remember, that's around about two to three hundred meg before you even start. Okay, this is the full suite. So I've got a text document. It's quite fast, as you can see. Lovely, super duper. This would be ideal for like a, a lower end computer, I would say. A lower end desktop, yeah, or not a lower end laptop. Yeah. But if you want it really, 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 really fast, put on something nice and new because it supports it. But you also get on live. Now I'm not going to open it, but basically on live is an online game service. Now, as far as I'm aware, they was having a bit of trouble not long ago. So whether we'll keep this in for the full one is another thing. Dropbox comes as standard. Yes, you just got to sign up. Or if you've already got an account, just put your email address in and your password, and all your files will be synced up hunkily dory. Bearing in mind, I'm only doing this from the bar at the moment. Okay. I've installed OpenShot. I've installed quite a bit here, actually. But I've installed OpenShot, but as you can see, works hunkily of the dory. Lovely. Super duper. What else I put in here that you don't know about? Uh, yeah, put that in, that in, that in, that in, that in. There's an applications menu on the bar as well. So we get the file system, it's all there. The usual pup stroke Saluki stuff is all there. Oh, I've actually installed Gimpage. Gimpage weren't installed by default. Unfortunately, it's not version 2.8, it's only 2.7, okay? So that's a bit of a bummer, really, but I'm sure they'll upgrade that to 2.8, although I've been waiting for quite a while for them to do that, okay? Now remember, the first time you open Gimpy up, it does take a while. Second time, it just runs through it like a river runs through it. Just sort of like the Thames. See you later. Okay. 
And we'll go back up here and we can access, I'll do this one instead. If you right click the desktop, you can get the menu section from here. So I've got the application is all there. So I'll go down, 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 down. Right, as you can see, Asunder is installed for you to actually rip your CDs. It's an open shot I've just installed. Oggle DVD Movie Player works out of the tin, does what it says. XF Burn works really nice. X Noise is a nice media player as well, actually. I'm saying that, as you do. We're going to network all your stuff here, even for dial up modems. I'm not sure if you've got those, but if you've got um, a USB uh, wireless thing, you may want to use that for that. Okay. You still get Abbey Word and G Numeric if you don't want to use Libra Office. So maybe you want to go and uninstall them. You don't know. It's up to you. What do you want to do? It's 286. Does what it says on the tin. All your printers should work hunkly dory out of the box. Okay, the under office, as you can see, done that all just then. Under system, usual cups is here for your printer, the puppy package manager, and the even a universal installer is all here, and the SFS load program loader, and your system info, and you can put it on a USB stick with Unbutin. Okay, under utilities, you get about XFCE, so we're going to click that just to show you. It's XFC 4.10. Now, please remember, Simplicity Linux has been using XFC for a long, long time, way before Saluki was born. Okay, just in case somebody was going to say that. So if I go to desktop settings, we're going to change the desktop background. As you can see, this is the beta one we're using here. I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to use oranges for a change. That's nice and orange, isn't it? Lovely. It's super duper. Okay, what else can I show you really? Not too, oh, I'll tell you what. Yes, just to show you that you can do more stuff with Cairo Doc. So I'm going to go to Cairo Doc and configure. Oh, so a bit of drinkage. I'm going to go to themes, okay? Oh, thank you. And we're just going to change the theme. Do we want Unity like? Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, oh, that's wrong. Japanese. No, that rings. That rings. That looks interesting. Or a Migo one. We're going to try Migo. Okay, and we're close. Yes, yeah, all right. So I'm not too worried about that. It's importing my theme. Might take a little while. Puff to one. A little drinkage while I'm here. Mm -mm. Oh, I've done this earlier. It didn't take this long, to be real honest with you. No. It was a lot, lot quicker. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do something else while it's doing that, shall we? We'll go back to our menu up here. What else can I show you, really? Old control panel is still here as well. So you can add stuff and remove stuff and stuff like that. Else is here, DVG strife, the stuff's here, the monitor calibrations here, Adobe's installed by default, as I said to you before, that's lovely jubbly, and all the other stuff. Oh, right, here we are, we're done. And there we go, we'll get a new little Cairo dot bar, which you can add stuff and take stuff away from. Now remember, you will have to add stuff to this, okay? But hey, no big deal. Or we can just change the menu to something completely different. Right, this looks like a big improvement over the last one, and visually it's a lot, lot better. Installation takes around about four and a half minutes to the hard drive with a usual dual core. Well, the dual core I'm using is two gig. It's two gig dual core, no big deal. It's about five, six years old, so you know, it will run nice and hunky dory. Lovely. I'm going to give it, even though it's an alpha, 92%. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Buzz, babe.